Hi, so here I've got the Tazen, actually the Tazen Mi uh, wireless keyboard case and Bluetooth mouth combo for iPad Air 10.9 2020 uh, or the iPad Pro 11 inch 2018 to 2020. I will say that I've had um, maybe a couple of these Tazen Mi um, keyboard cases before. Um, I found them to be yeah, generally pretty good quality. So it'll be interesting to see whether this one actually follows suit. So let's get the box open and have a look. And normally I would have this with either of my daughter's iPads, but I'm doing this very early in the morning, so I don't. Um, but I will test the keyboard actually using my tablet, so I'm assuming because it's Bluetooth it will just connect anyway. So now I'm gonna find this is stuck down. No, it's just a bit stiff. Ah, oh, there we go. Down there. Whoa, fabulous colour. So there we have the case itself. We have a little mouse mat included, which is uh, yeah, it's quite handy having that. Instructions, which are well, it's basically what you see on the sheet is the instructions, but that should be pretty straightforward. It's like my unscripted reviews I do, and I don't read the instructions because I always think it's quite fun to have a play around. And then we have the mouse, which is in an equally fabulous sort of purpley violet colour, which is quite impressive actually. I'm going to unpack this now and get rid of the box. Right, crash bang behind me, it's falling over. Okay, so this colour is really nice. Um, it's, the, the texture is quite soft. It's what I sort of partially call um, sort of liquid silicon. Uh, it's a really nice feel to it. Um, it's got a bit of protective tissue in there for it. I'll come on to the mouse afterwards. So you've got a magnetic flap. Just open and close it. Now, obviously, when it's closed, you don't have access to the camera lens, and it's actually going to be behind this flap, so close it up like that, pull that down, oh, that all around, and the keyboard's purple as well, so this is quite, it's very, very purple, but it is nice colour. Keyboard, let's pop that out of its packaging, there's a couple of different instructions here. So you, you can you know, wither without a touchpad. I'll flip this over to see which one I've got. I've got the one with a touchpad, which is so much better, personally, I think. And that just sits on there magnetically. And a whole lot of instructions here on setting all this up. Function keys, Bluetooth pairing, uh, very shortcuts. So that's quite a good, where the I suppose case instructions are quite limited because they don't need to be that extensive. This is um, quite all encompassing in terms of using your fingers on the touchpad. So this is a decent set of instructions that come with specifically for the keyboard itself. So I'm gonna pop this over here to have a better look at the case. So what we've got is, you see this, it's sort of like a, um, a maze-like pattern. The idea behind this is that it creates little air pockets between the back of the iPad and the back of this case, should it drop. There's a pen holder on the top here. Um, this is not a particular one, but you just see how that slots in. And then you have a stand, a little hole there to actually stand the uh, pen up if needed. Cutouts are all there as you expect. Um, the sides are firmer, this side's firmer than these left side and top bottom um, because obviously it's got the pen piece in. Now the advantage with having the pen piece in there, you've got this really good bumper, corner bumpers. So should you drop the iPad down that way, it's got some really good con conditioning. Protection is the word I was looking for, very good protection. Unfortunately, it's not the same on the other side because you don't have that pen part 
Um, there's not a huge amount of protection there at all really in terms of corner bumpers, although this sort of air cushioning does run around the edges there. So it's a shame they didn't put this on the other side as well because that would have been really good in terms of protection. Being a keyboard case, we can just flip that up and slide it forward to have it in uh, sort of landscape mode if you want to do typing. So pop that there. This is quite soft, it's a lighter. I just think the outside feels softer than this inside, which is not that it's going to scratch up anything. And then you've got this funky keyboard, which because it's magnetic, it, it sort of sits really where you where you put it. And then we have down the side here, we've got the USB, micro USB, I should say, charging cable, shame that's not USB-C. And we've got on off. And all these come these come charged. And we've got some lights come on. I should do that again. Let's see better in here. There we go. One's for Bluetooth, one is for caps lock, and the other one is for battery power. And it just pops on there like that. Now, as I said, I don't have my daughter's iPads to hand, but it doesn't mean that I shouldn't be able to use my uh, tablet here to pair up with it. So I'm just going to so just see the So I'm just searching at the moment. Let me just turn it on again. Now the batteries, that could be that the battery's a bit too low. So what I will do is plug in this cable. It's interesting to see the size. It's not that long. We're looking at about 50 centimeters for the cable. Let's pop that up there. Let's get this. Uh, these cables make sure get around the right way, which you don't have to worry about the USB-C. And it doesn't go that way, does it go that way? It's a bit stiff, but yeah, it's, it's in there. Come on for pairing. Connect, so I've got the Bluetooth light is now flashing. I'm going to rescan with my tablet. I'm going to pop it up here, hopefully it's going to stand up. So we can see that actually. Bluetooth keyboard, I've got down here, so I'm going to click on that. And pairing. Uh, okay, I appreciate this is not an Apple, uh, but obviously we'll just test the keyboard, it will still work um, with this. So we are connected, so I'm just going to open up, just uh, let's open up a web page or something so we can have a look at oh, Amazon, so search is something there. Um, T A S N M E, there we go, enter. So there we go, so that's working absolutely fine. The, the, the trackpad, if you want to call it that, is quite responsive. Uh, today's deal, so obviously you can click on it. Now that did move when I clicked on it, because it's not flat when, I'm just trying to adjust this to the base. If you've got it half, sort of half on the case and half off, it does rock. So it may be better to have it more on, or let's say less, then it won't move so much. But now the trackpad, this is working quite well. Click on that. Uh, so sort of back click. Yeah, so this is working really well. Don't have any issues with that. We can try. Going back, now I'm sort of to see if we can get a just get a word document open here to just try there we go blank documents won't be ready to open up I did touch that yeah, come on, open thanks right let's say it is 6 a.m. and I ah so I touched the wrong button there somehow so I seem to have deleted I typed it is 6 a.m. and I'm in the process of doing a test and review of the tablet. 
keyboard case. Now if I right back click on the review, so I spelled it wrongly, I'll click on that, right click on it, and the options, I'll change it so it's spelled properly. Yeah, I think the, the keys are fine, I don't particularly have an issue with them at all. Um, they feel nice responsive, they're not particularly noisy. The one thing I did quickly notice here, although this is the for iPad, down here we've got QWE, so you can actually select whether, and I didn't do this beforehand, so I just spotted it now, um, you can select between Android, Windows or iOS. So you could use this as a keyboard for something else if you wanted to, um, and you can select that for Android, which I imagine is function Q, which then should now be set for Let's see if I can drag up to go back. Yeah, so that works well as well, actually. So click and drag backwards to go back. Yeah, this is quite a nice setup. The keyboard's comfortable. Obviously, it's compact because of the size. You've got a full row of function keys along the top. Other command prompts, options, function, etc., etc. So. You know, I've, I've had some of these Tasmi keyboard, keyboard cases before. I found them to be really good. This one is, is to be honest, equally as good. I really like the fact this comes with a trackpad because um, they don't normally tend to do that. The other thing here is the mouse, which is also rechargeable. But let's turn it on and see if it's got any power. Well, there's some power. So if I go back to... Well, we have to pair this second to the keyboard is it sort of like a double pairing now you've got Bluetooth mouse so I'll click on that pair it it's all quite quick in terms of setting this up and I'm connected already so let's go to a web page uh, we can, mouse is working fine here let's go to top Amazon deals close through and then we've got back click. It's okay. And let's just see. I need to adjust the speed of the mouse because it's quite slow from my perspective. And of course you can scroll down. And it's not a free will, it, it, it has some sort of notchiness to it. But it's quite easy to scroll around, no, no problems at all. So overall, really like the case. Price is currently it's checking $36.99 on Amazon. Now, if you compare that to the price of the official Apple ones, it's mostly about a quarter of the price. Um, and it's good quality. Everything feels really well made. It's compact, so you know, it's, the mouse is not particularly heavy for um, traveling. Great instructions for the keyboard. I like the fact that, although it is for the iPad, you've got the option of Windows, iOS, Android. Um, so if you've got a TV, maybe there's an Android TV or something, you could then switch between the two if you wanted to. Can't comment on battery life at the moment because obviously it's only just charging it up. Um, you could charge these from a power bank or pretty much any USB um, port. Uh, power bank's quite handy because you're pretty much full charge, I imagine, on both of these. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, yeah, I like this. It's, it's quite nice. I'm sure and a bit of bum fight between my daughters who's going to have this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.